Hey, horror comics fans. This time we're going to look at DC's Dark Mansion of Forbidden Love. Now, this is a related title to their the Sinister House uh, of Secret Love and later uh, Secrets of Sinister House. But uh, I did a video on that previously, and you can check that out if you want to. Anyway, these two titles were no doubt inspired by Dark Shadows. You know, the gothic romance was very popular back in the late 60s and early 70s. And this uh, first issue here, oh, and by the way, we're joined again by the vivacious Lilith, the Vampire Bride. And she's hanging out with us again, and she's going to do, the, you know, she's going to ban a white for me and help present these books. So, let's get into particulars. This first issue here came out in 71, and this cover is by George Zeal. And he was uh, most famous, I believe, for the paperback covers, you know, for the gothic uh, romance that was uh, so popular back in the day. And, you know, he did a bang-up job on this one. It's just very evocative of the genre. Interior art by Tony DeZuniga. And these are oversized issues, you know, 48 pages, quarter. You got your money's worth back then. Anyway, this is number two. Cover by the great Joe Orlando. Very nice. You know, that looks... A lot like Neil Adams. A lot like Neil Adams. But, Joe Orlando. So there we go. Uh, interior art, Tony DeZuniga, Don Heck. Okay, number three. This cover is by Jeff Jones. Another great interior art. Don Heck, Tony DeZuniga did a letters page illo. Now they were hitting on all cylinders for the gothic romance early on here. And here's number four. They changed the uh, title logo a little bit. Looks good. This covers by Nick Cardi. And interior art, Ernie Chan, Vince Coletta. Okay, now in 72, we've got the title change. It went from Dark Mansion of Forbidden Love to Forbidden Tales of Dark Mansion. And I believe probably they abandoned the gothic romance for the gothic horror because maybe the sales weren't up to par and they wanted to shake it up a little bit and make it conform to the standard mystery line that DC had with uh, all the great titles, you know, House of Mystery, House of Secrets, Witching Hour, Ghosts, Unexpected. So anyway, this is number five. And uh, this is another great Nick Cardi cover with interior art by Don Heck. It's another oversized issue for a mere quarter. And here's number six. Now we go to the normal sized issues. Cover price is now 20 cents. Those uh, quarter oversized issues were DC's sort of transition from the 15 cents to the 20 cents. So anyway, this is number six. Cover by Alan Weiss. Interior art, Jack Kirby, Mike Royer. This was originally, this story was originally intended for Spirit World number two, the magazine that Kirby did for DC. It turned out to be a one shot because there was never a number two. And uh, this issue of Forbidden Tales of Dark Mansion saw that story printed here. Uh, also, uh, Jose Delbo. And we go to. Number seven, great cover by Mike Kaluta. 
Interior Art, Steve Harper and Mike Kaluta, Howard Shakin, Tony DeZuniga, Jack Sparling, Wynn Mortimer, and Bill Drought. Now, this issue also introduces a new host for the title. Uh, she's a horror hottie named Charity. And she's really mysterious, you know, to start with. I don't think they even mentioned her name for a while. But uh, it's a great issue. Here's number eight. This cover is by Mike Kaluta. And interior art, Mike Kaluta, Ernie Chan, Ernie H. Santiago, and Alex Nino. Drink in the covers, people. I'd like to show you the whole thing, but we'd be here all day. All right, here's number nine. This cover is by Neil Adams. There's no doubt about that. Interior art, Mike Kaluta, Jess Ramos, Ernesto Patricio, Alfredo Alcala. Number 10, cover by Nick Cardi. Interiors, Mike Kaluta, Alfredo Alcala, Bill Payne, Joe Albastor as Al Bistour. Number 11. Cover is by Jack Sparling. Interiors, Mike Kaluta, Alfredo Alcala, Pete Morisi, Wynn Mortimer. Now, Pete Morisi, uh, he did a lot of work for Charlton. And he uh, usually signed his work P-A-M because I, that was his initials. And he, uh, he was a cop and he moonlighted as a comic book artist. And, and I don't guess the police, you know, took a shine to that. So, again, it's uh, his pseudonym there as Pam for Charlton. But uh, here he's listed under his real name, Pete Morisi. Now, here's number 12. This cover is by Nick Cardi, art by Mike Kaluta, Bill Draught, Alex Nino, Mike Sikowski, George Russos, Sergio Aragonis, Morris Waldinger in a reprint. And we've got number 13. Cover by Mike Kaluta. Interiors, Alfredo Alcala, <clears throat> Alfredo Alcala, Gil Kane, and Wayne Howard. Number 14, covered by Nick Cardi, Interior Art, Sal Amendola, Dan Green, George Evans, Rico Rival, and Al Milgram. This is the last issue. This is number 15. Came out in 74. This cover is by Nick Carty, Interiors, Howard Chaikin, Dan Green, Alex Nino, Jerry Talayok. And that winds up our coverage for Forbidden Tales of Dark Mansion. Previously, Dark Mansion of Forbidden Love. And I want to thank Lilith, the Vampire Bride, for Vanna Whiting for me. And let's let her come up here and take a bow real quick. Always good to see Lilith. She'll probably show up in some of my later videos when it's appropriate. Love Lilith. Okay. I'm out of here, guys. See you next time. Uh, monstering, dinoing, something here in the haunted graveyard. Out of here.